Hello beautiful Leo, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Marie Rose from tarotreadingslive.com and psychicslive.com.au Here to do your reading today for April. I also wanted to bring in today that Saturn has taken over the energy for 2024 and it started on the 20th of March. So if you're vibrating in a positive energy with positive mind, positive affirmations, planting the seeds to move forward, coming up with new ideas, is, then Saturn is going to promote that times two. It amplifies. Saturn is a, an energy of amplification. So if you have negative thoughts or doing or feeling negative or vibrating in a negative energy, then that's going to happen twice as hard as well. I also want to bring, um, if you can find the compassion within yourself to like this video so that we can share to millions of other um, Leos that need to hear this. YouTube are not promoting videos with no interaction. So if you feel that you would like to like this video so that we can promote it to other people that need to hear it, other Leos, we would highly appreciate that. Today we're going to start off with some energy, then we're going to go into tarot, and then we're going to have some advice at the end with our oracle cards. So let's see what we have for you, Leo. What energy do we have for Leo? Call in my guides, mentors, to bring in the best energy we have for Leo and the message that you want me to pass to them. What's the energy for Leo? April 2024. Leo, 2024. Thinker, a time where you're going to think about things in your life that you either want to change, you want to be part of, or you want to start. Number 44, that's a master number. It's you thinking about how you can get back in control with what you want in your life. another energy for Leo please. For someone here you're thinking about everything that you've been through and how you want to change that. Look at that round and round. How do you get yourself out of a vicious circle where it's good and then it becomes bad. It's good and then it becomes bad. It's like you're on this merry-go-round and you can't see a way off this merry-go-round. And in April, that's what you're going to be focusing on. It's like, how can I not give up on my dreams and goals, but what can I do to change this so it's not a constant um, merry-go-round? It's like nothing happens out of the ordinary. Nothing is expanding. Nothing is happening. I'm not getting the return. I keep on putting in and not getting much out. I keep on doing this and not having a return. You're thinking about how you can change things, Leo, in April to change the circumstances you see yourself in, whether that be in a relationship, in career, in some aspect of your life that you want to change. You, you feel that you need to take control now of what happens next. You need to be in tune with what needs to happen. I, I feel someone here is sick and tired of doing the same old and getting the same results. So what is it that you're going to do differently to obtain different results, whether that be a relationship or career or any other part? Let's see, what else do we have for Leo? What are we trying to tell Leo here? Emotions and intellect. Here, it's getting in tune with how you feel versus what you think. In your heart, you know what you want. But in your mind, with your mind, it's telling you otherwise. So until you have a certainty of what it is that your heart is telling you and your mind understands that, then you'll find what you need to do next. But until that happens, you're always going to be on this merry-go-round. And I feel here that your heart and your mind are not in alignment with one another. What you think you need is not what you feel you need or what you feel you want 
is not necessarily what you truly want. The seven of swords. This is you having to be true and defend yourself from other people, other situations. It's like you've got someone who is constantly telling you what you should do, what you shouldn't do. You, you've lost yourself a little bit in this. It's like you're doing what you feel you need to do rather than what you want to do. You're feeling like you need to do what others want you to do, but you're not doing what you want. <laughs> king of Earth upside down. The King of Earth upside down is someone who is trying extremely hard to take control of their finances, tr trying extremely hard and working hard to create more abundance in their life. But you don't seem to be doing that and you don't know why it's not happening for you. In April, that's what you're going to think about. It's how can I change what I'm doing because what I'm doing is not working. It's not compensating. I'm spending a lot of time and effort and not getting much in return. Look at that. The King of Fire. You've got two kings here. One upside down, which is your, your prosperity. Everything materialistic around you. Everything that's abundant. And yet you've got the King of Fire. So you've just been pushing through and determined and you're starting to get tired because you're using this force and this determination to achieve. But I feel here that no matter what you're doing is not working and this is why you've got the round and round situation here. You're either you're not being appreciated or looked at when there's promotions involved. Even though you're working extremely hard, you're not getting paid for what you do. Or you're not appreciated for what you do. Or there is no return in what you're doing. So you're feeling a bit lost at the moment. You're feeling like, what do I need to do? What is it that, why isn't it working for me? The Eight of Swords. Sometimes it's good, but then it's not. Remember I told you that? Sometimes it's good, and then it's not. I, I start to get off the ground, and then I get back to where I was in the beginning. Nothing is expanding. Nothing is happening here. I'm not getting in return what I need. When I think it's good, it, it, it then turns bad. I sacrifice everything I have and I still don't get what I, what I need to in return. An alignment of chakras, the ten of fire. It's time for, your, for you to align your purpose and your reason and ask yourself, is what you're doing what you truly want to do or is what you're doing a way of making money? Because if you're doing something in order to make money, but you're not making money, then there's something wrong there. So you need to do what you feel is right. You need to do what your purpose and your reason is. And that may mean that you earn less money, but at least you're earning money and devoting your energy into something that's going to have a return. And there's a teaching here for you. It's like, are you doing what you truly want to be doing? Or are you doing things because you feel you have to? So in April, it's, it's a wake-up call. It's, it's really going to be a wake-up call for you, Leo. It's going to be, what are you going to do? Destiny. Look at that. It's like, I want to make money to have a good future. I want to create abundance in my life so I can have it for later on. But it's just not working for me. I don't seem to get on top of anything. 
Is this what you're doing? Your destiny? Are you in the wrong job? Are you doing the wrong, the wrong thing? I feel here that you need to look at it from above. You need to look at things for what they truly are. And if it's not compensating you, then you need to either one, change what you're doing, because doing the same thing will get you the same result, or you need to get out of what you're doing and do something else and do things that you love, Leo. Look at that. The Nine of Swords. You're exhausted. You're exhausted. Your mind feels like it's going to blow up. You feel like your head is going to explode. I am thinking and I am thinking and I am thinking and I still don't have an answer. So what do I do? I keep on doing it. But I feel here that in April, you're going to need to take a step back from what you're doing. You're going to need to take a step back and evaluate what's true and what's not, what's giving you a return and what's not. And very soon you will see that what you're doing needs to change. Look at that. Free yourself, my love. Free yourself from this. Free yourself from this non-stop merry-go-round that's not taking you anywhere further than where you are right now. It's saying, Leo, in April, it's time to free yourself from this torment, from this place of no movement. Not backwards, not forward, always the same. Let's see what advice we have for Leo here. Tell me if this makes sense to you. I, I feel that April for you is going to be about planning, thinking and putting plans in place to action. Believe in your good luck. Believe that you have got good luck. For someone here, you're doubting whether you're lucky at all. You're doubting whether everything you touch turns to misery. Where you should be thinking, everything I touch will turn to gold. And if it's not working this way, I need to change it. I need to change the way I do it. I think about it and I approach it. So you do have luck here, Libra. Uh, Libra. Leo, you may be dealing with a Libra as well. But Leo, you do have luck here. It's just about you focusing on it in a different way. Go deeper. <laughs> Go deeper. Get a deeper understanding of what's working and what's not. What's making you happy and what's not. What's bringing you what you deserve and what's not. And this is going to be a time for you to cut things out that no longer serve you. When you go deeper, you'll see what needs to go. Attune to the divine. Sit by water, a river, a beach, nature, and let those thoughts just come. Allow yourself to understand you've done the best you possibly could, and now you need divine guidance. You need answers on how you can change your circumstance from what it is today. April's going to be a month of tuning to new thoughts, new ideas and new ways of doing things. Leo, I hope that makes sense to somebody here. Lots of love and light your way. Thank you for being here. Bye-bye.